Our top story tonight, for the first time, we're seeing little Rain Peterson. She's the two-year-old from Northern Trumbull County, disappeared on the 2nd of October. She was finally found alive 48 hours later. Well, now she's out of the hospital. Her great-grandparents reached out to Trumbull County reporting to Dean Grimley. She's going to share the story for us now. Four days after Rain was released from St. Joseph's Health Center in Warren, her great-grandmother, Dora Mae Peterson, gave me a call. She wanted to show everyone touched by this little girl's story that she's doing well and besides still being on antibiotics and a few scratches from her 48-hour ordeal away from home, she's back to her two-year-old self. I think yeah. it's going to take me longer to recover from this than it is her because it, I'm still very emotional about it. it just... We talked about everything from the time Rain disappeared. What was going through your mind? I don't know. I could just... I just knew how scared she would be. And then it got to be the next day when it rained and she I knew she didn't have a coat. They covered the area very, very well, I thought. And I just couldn't understand why they didn't find her. To when they finally got word she was found alive. Was it almost hard to believe at that point when you first heard? Yes, it was, yes. It was hard to believe because truthfully I had given up hope. It had been so long I thought, it's not going to be a good outcome, but it was. Now Rain is back at home. She's happy and she's healthy and she's tough. All the pieces are back together. The puzzle is complete again. We'll yeah. accept what really happened, you know what. Yeah. But um, yes, she's, she's back. <laughs> and both Dora and Richard say they can't thank the hundreds of law enforcement, emergency responders and volunteers enough. It was just overwhelming. There was so many people that was out to help. So many people that loved this little girl and had never laid eyes on her. And it, it was just unbelievable. And we're so thankful that all the for all the volunteers that was out there. We can't thank them enough. In North Bloomfield, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.